What is up guys, KFC back bringing us a special video today. I am sitting over in Sages of Clash. Uh, met these guys on Twitter. They tweeted out to One Hive Raids uh, that they had just achieved their 100th war win. Uh, so I'm a war behind. They are now up to 101. Uh, but I came over here to give them a little bit of a spotlight. Uh, very good war log on their part. Lots of green uh, going down here. Um, so really, really awesome job by these guys so far. I have not watched any of their attacks, uh, but I do know that their most recent win uh, was a perfect war. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a recap on these uh, two wars. So we're going to start out with the war against Unpad Revenger. Uh, this is the one that got them their 100th, 57 to 51. Uh, I'm not even sure what the uh, what kind of lineups they're running here. Um, let's see, PJ kind of up at the top. He is a Town Hall 9 with 2020, and then their leader looks like a Town Hall 10. Uh, so it looks like they are mostly a Town Hall 10, 9. They probably go down all the way to 8. Yes, indeed, they do. So a 10, 9, 8 clan. Um, let's go ahead and see uh, what kind of attacks they put on this enemy. So it looks like, for the most part, clearing most of the map here. Looks like they left one Town Hall 9 up and one star, the top guy. Uh, so let's go ahead and start watching some of these attacks here. Like I said, haven't had a chance, unfortunately, to watch most of them. Sages of Clash has quite the security on getting into their clan, and most of my recording time has been shrunk as the girlfriend is on her way home from work. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab a look at what these guys can do. Uh, looks like Zab here uh, going, on, uh, going in on this base with a Shattered Goho. Uh, ton of Wizards, 13 Wizards. Let's go ahead and see how he uses those. Uh, got a couple of spots that are of interest here. There's a little, a couple of spots in the core for some really poorly placed doubles. Uh, but he's going to drop one hog here, grab the lure, uh, double poison, so we can fast forward through that. We know how this works. Uh, down go the balloons. He's actually not going to double poison. He's actually going to start. Very interesting. Uh, so rather than double poison, he's going to drop his uh, shattered portion over here. Line of wizards in behind. Um, so creating a very, very aggressive funnel. Didn't need that many wizards. Um, wall breakers go down, open up that compartment. Queen goes down here. A uh, single bomb goes off there. I'm um, very interested to see how he's going to use this other poison spell because the, the enemy archer queen is now down. He must be saving it for some potential skeletons. So there's the skeleton trap pops right there. Still not going to double, still not going to use that second poison. So a little bit of a mistake there by Zab. Uh, again, going to kind of Asian wall kind of the left side over here. Um, including that Tesla that was on the corner. Single bomb goes off, no need to heal kind of in that area. Uh, heal goes down there on a very decent spot. Poison finally goes down. He's going to take out some skeletons and slow down the enemy Barbarian King. His uh, kill squad is still doing some work over here on the right. Uh, hogs coming in. He's still got two heal spells in the bag. Drops a very nice heal there. Uh, that'll heal most of his hogs. And then he's got one final heal. That'll probably end up used uh, closer to the left side of the base since the queen is working around the right. Um, so I would expect to see that down probably sometime right around now over on that wizard tower and that cannon. Uh, granted, most of his hogs did go to the right. Uh, a couple of hogs there. Trip that cannon. He's going to drop his hogs in that wizard tower. Um, didn't really need it, but go ahead and swags it over there. Uh, heals those hogs back up. They're going to take out that cannon and then finally turn around and beat on the king. Uh, he's got three wizards in the bag. A little slow on his cleanup here. Uh, those three wizards need some love. There we go. One up there on the spell factory. Um, still got two more. He's going to drop those at 9 o'clock and 6 o'clock uh, to speed up his cleanup process. So good attack by Zab. A couple of things that you could tighten up there, buddy. Um, I don't know you personally, but uh, hopefully you watch the video. Um, usually uh, Goodfella style is to cap ourselves at around 8 wizards. Um, just have enough wizards to, to make your funnel and enough wizards to clean up, and you'll be good to go. Uh, number one, looks like it was a bully attack, so we'll skip that. We've already done Zab, so we'll go down to PJ here, taking out the number five. Uh, let's see what kind of base he's taking out here. So as you can see, this 100th war wasn't a super difficult war for them. Um, but once again, uh, same composition as uh, Zab, uh, bringing a Shattered Goho with 13 Wizards. Uh, I would definitely recommend uh, you guys stop taking so many Wizards. Uh, let's go ahead and see how he gets this. I assume we're going to see a pull up here. Uh, one Hog goes in. Let's see if he double poisons or if he saves the... Um, Another poison spell for a potential ground skeleton. So there goes down to one poison there. Um, gonna, oh, we missed the balloon, so definitely that other poison should go down soon. Nope, he's also going to skip it. Um, so definitely you see a, a difference in style here between um, the clan that I run and this clan. Uh, not using that double poison trick to take out that dragon. 
And so that dragon is going to start roasting on this golem here. Uh, Archer Queen is beaten away uh, now at that dragon, takes it out. Skeleton Traps pop, a uh, good spot for that second poison spell if there was ever going to be one uh, right around here with these double heroes and those Skeleton Traps. But it looks like the Skeleton Traps are now gone and the heroes are now being targeted. Uh, so he might just have a poison in the bag at this point uh, for this raid. Still has 25 hogs left for a perfectly symmetrical base. He has tripped two of the potential bomb spots. And we have to assume that those other bomb spots are kind of in these kind of compartments right here. And the Barbarian King should remove pathing to the one single. And then the left side wizard should remove pathing to the other one. Uh, there indeed goes one. And so he's going to massively uh, kind of two finger drop his hogs there. Let's go ahead and slow down uh, this heal spell. Uh, let's kind of see how well it's placed here. Got all those hogs at the front end of the heal spell, so that's great. Uh, these hogs are unfortunately, looks like they're going to miss out on the heal. So he might at this point need to drop a heal kind of in this area. Um, so these hogs, for the most part, are going to path over to the left, and they're kind of unprotected. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if he does that. Uh, so the hogs on the right there are getting healed up. Uh, boom, there goes the second heal spell on the hogs on the left. Uh, and he has one heal spell left, and there's a very easy uh, target for that heal spell, obviously over here in this final compartment here. Um, all the bombs have been tripped, so there's really no nothing to worry about. Um, heal spell, boom, there it goes. Very nicely placed on all of those defenses. Uh, that's going to get them all worked. Um, got some wizards there. All th three wizards go up at 12 o'clock. There's some corner huts. Um, I would have liked to have seen a couple of wizards here on these uh, these corners. Um, but for the most part, uh, it's just going to make a little bit of a longer cleanup process. Uh, Queen goes over here and snipes the uh, 3 o'clock one, and these hogs will go ahead and grab that 9 o'clock one. Uh, so very interesting, again, uh, lots and lots of wizards on these attacks. Um, definitely seems to be a little bit of a clan-wide um, kind of style, kind of the uh, the 26 hog, 13 wizard approach. Uh, so nice attack there by PJ. Let's go ahead and look at some more attacks here. Uh, kind of see, uh, why does my girlfriend crush my soul? Because I record replays and I don't give her enough attention if she walks in as I'm recording them. Uh, so we actually just saw this base in a, in a recent war recap for us as well. Once again, we see the massive amount of wizards, 14 wizards. Uh, you guys definitely love your... It's a shattered go-ho with 14 wizards. Uh, another double poison, so I'm, I'm still interested again to see um, if anyone does the double poison trick or if everyone just kind of does the one poison and then saves the other one. So single poison... Okay, there's a double poison, so that'll take out the dragon. So I'm liking Peep's Republic. Uh, it's definitely the right way to kind of take out uh, the... Um, the CC there. Uh, lots and lots of wizards go down. Does save three for cleanup. Um, I would encourage you guys, the more and more I watch these replays, to try and figure out how many wizards you need for your funnel um, and then kind of cut yourself there because 14 is a little bit too many. Uh, but anyways, the hogs here are going around in a nice clockwise fashion. Uh, the final heal spell goes down in a perfect spot. It's going to cover the three Teslas and the final Archer Towers. Um, and he's got plenty of hogs up. He's going to run into a little bit of a bomb issue down here. Boom. So it looks like these hogs kind of might start getting picked off by this king, but he does have plenty to just kind of turn around and beat on the king. Uh, so a little bit of a scary uh, moment there, I'm sure, but very easy cleanup process for Peeps Republic. And that'll be another three-star for Sages of Clash. All right, let's watch one more from this war, and then we'll watch a few uh, from their uh, most recent war. Let's maybe get a little Town Hall 8 action in here. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure which one of these to pick. Let's go ahead and watch OG Youngblood take out number 16. Uh, so just an absolutely uh, awful base by the enemy. Oh, but it's a go wipe. I can't watch that. I'm sorry, OG Youngblood. I just can't. I can't do it. I cannot force myself to, uh, to watch a go wipe style of attack. Uh, here we go. Here's one. Um, definitely more my style, but once again, you notice the, uh, like I said, it's definitely a clan-wide, um, thing. Uh, the 12 wizards down there for this Shattered Go-Ho approach here. Uh, so Shattered Go-Ho, a little bit different at Town Hall 8. Doesn't need to kind of come in and take out the queen, but does need to kind of take out some very important, uh, potential bomb spots. Uh, for this base, there's really not any, uh, double bomb spots to worry about. I would assume that he would kind of come down in here. Uh, to kind of grab that king and then kind of surgically approach the top half of the base. Let's go ahead and see how he does it here. I um, assume the first thing we're going to see is the lure. Indeed, out pops a dragon and a loon. Um, and he gets a skeleton drop as well. Uh, drops one poison spell. That's going to grab that dragon and loon. And let's see if he drops his other poison spell. He is not. So he's going to start this raid uh, very similar to his other Town Hall 9 comrades without dropping that second poison. I assume he's going to see if these wizards can kind of take out that dragon, uh, which has been softened up quite a bit. 
Uh, there's a dragon doing some work there on that golem, but boom, it goes down relatively quick. Uh, it's out of wall breakers, so it's unfortunate. It doesn't have any wall breakers, so it's just going to have to bust through this wall kind of naturally. Uh, golem is getting roasted. You've got some hogs now coming in from the top. Two finger drop uh, with clan castle hogs. I said shattered approach. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Uh, clearly has hogs in the clan castle at Town Hall 8. Uh, hogs are splitting very evenly left and right. The hogs hit a single bomb there, but are immediately at the uh, end of that heal spell, so they get healed up. Um, heal spells go down here. Um, I would I would encourage them to pause here and just show um, Book of Eli. Uh, in this area right here, all that is in this kind of compartment are mortars and air defenses. Uh, so there's nothing really that hurts hogs in this area. Uh, so uh, that heal spell uh, definitely would be best down here. Uh, and the other heal spell could easily kind of go right here. But when you have a, a core that is only mortars and air defenses, uh, no need to heal up those hogs. So let's go ahead and see uh, how that affects you because you're going to kind of, one of those, so this section of hogs over here is probably going to die out because uh, they don't have a heal spell now. And now they're being targeted by, by point defenses. And so that's much scarier for hogs than a couple of mortars and air defenses. Uh, so definitely going to lose a bunch more hogs there. Ooh, those hogs path over a double brutal. Um, but luckily has four hogs left. And so seven wizards in the bag for cleanup. Um, and then has that, uh, that's the reason why holding that poison spell is brutal, because now we just have an extra one. Um, that is my girlfriend. She is home. So that's going to be the end of this war recap video. I appreciated Sages of Clash letting me into their clan. Um, congratulations on War Win 100. The biggest thing that I can see in the attacks that I've watched so far are the amount of wizards. I'm coming, girlfriend. Uh, keep that amount of wizards down to maybe around seven or eight, and you guys will have lots of success in the future. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.